believe I've just done this, but I felt on the wrong train. Hey everyone, G loves trains here and welcome to Exploring Yorkshire and the Humber by Train Day 9. I was actually meant to start this vlog like four hours ago but I was so tired this morning that I just went back to bed. <laughs> but um, I'm off to Murfield, Ravensport, Dewsbury, Batley, Morley and Cottingley. It was actually only this morning as well that I realised that the Wigan to Leeds trains call at Murfield which does help because it means I can go directly directly to the first station. I'm currently on board 158756. Oh, I feel like I was on that train for absolutely ages. I could have actually fallen asleep again, to be fair. But I'm now finally at Murfield. Now, I would have had a walk to the River Calder whilst I was here, but I'm going to save that for Ravensthorpe because we were just sitting at a red signal for a bit then. And I think I've only got around about 10 minutes here. So at Murfield, I don't think there's a field, there is a little over there, but um, it is a northern run station, you've also got TPE services and Grand Central and it's got three platforms. There's two here on this island platform and there's one over there. I'm not entirely sure what services call at each of the platforms. I actually don't know which platform I'm supposed to be standing on for my next train, I better check that. It is platform one that I'm supposed to be on. I did think it would be, considering that's the platform I just got off the train at, but yeah, I just wanted to double check that. There's a lot of plants along this island platform, actually, and there is a little train thing there. Take a sprig to jazz up your dinner. Honestly, if I knew what a sprig was, I would take one. <laughs> Just got off 185144 and here at Ravensthorpe, immediately hitting me as I stepped off the train, there is a smell. Yes, it's very windy as well, but I'm not quite sure what the smell is, but there is a distinctive smell to this station. <laughs> There is a Blackpool Tower right outside of the station and you know what, as I actually make my way down this platform, that smell, it's still there but it kind of turns a little bit fishy and then goes back to whatever it is. When you're at Ravensthorpe, you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head. When you're at Ravensthorpe, you put your knickers on your head and you shout, Squishy Babies! Ravensthorpe is a northern station you've also of course got Transpennine Express calling here and it does have two platforms all right so this may not be the best kept station I've ever been to but Ravensthorpe's got a bike rack there's an information screen on platform one not on platform two there's a bridge with a signal in front of it and it's just quite smoky around <laughs> Like I mentioned at Murfield, I am going to have a wonder and see if I can find the River Calder. Ah, this is more like it. Let's see if we can get away from that smoky, sooty, industrial area of Ravensthorpe and have a little walk by the river. I've ended up on what's called the Calder and Hebel navigation. I initially thought it was a canal, and it does say canal on that side. I'm not, I'm not really sure what you want to call it, but um, whatever it is, it's lovely. I've got just a couple of minutes on board, 185116. You've got to be quick getting shots of flowing water along this route because there is a lot of it. I'm at Dewsbury, you know this place stopped today. Um, I was considering actually if that train I just got off was on time, which it was a few minutes delayed, so I didn't bother with it. Just very quickly trying to get my filming done and then hopping back on because usually it sits on the platform for there about five minutes, but yeah, I've now got just over half an hour and it's not really cold, so don't mind doing the wait anyway. Dewsbury's got two platforms, it's operated by TPE and you also get Northern services here. 
it is a staff station there is a ticket office over on platform two there are also ticket barriers however they're not in use um as of this moment in time <laughs> Just got off pretty 158906. Just been speaking to a lovely driver called Ray who recommended when I got off the train at Batley I um, just stay inside the station. <laughs> It is really quiet here and it does look as though, especially from the outside, that Batley should be a staff station, but it's not. There is a ticket machine inside the immediate entrance here, but yeah, it's not staffed. I can't resist but cross the platforms, which does involve going underneath this subway and it looks really cool with all this artwork along it. Batley is a pretty station, especially with that view from platform one. There's a variety of seats. There's a train coming in, which I am not getting on. Oh no, it's passing by. It's okay. Let's wait for this to pass by. Batley is a northern run station. You also have TPE calling here. The announcements just do not stop. Honestly, I'm just going to talk over them. And it's got two platforms. I have noticed as well within the station that the plant pots are decorated with patterns on them, which I think is quite cute. I'm on 185.144 in my favourite seat by the toilet, which I haven't been to because, uh, yeah, I didn't need a wait. I'm at Morley Station, which to be honest looks like a complete building site at the moment. <laughs> and I should say current Morley Station because um, I've just been told apparently that instead of its location being here, just as you emerge from Morley Tunnel, it's actually going to be moving a little bit away from it. So what's that Morley then? Um, scaffolding? <laughs> there's some of the post pickup point things, there's two platforms, there's Norman trains, there's TP trains too, and um, there's a bridge to cross the platform. What's in here? Nothing. Next train to arrive at platform 2 is the 1426 Northern service to Wigan Walgate, calling at <laughs> Batley. Oh my days, hearing a Wigan Wallgate announcement from here is really odd. Did not expect it to say the Wigan there. I think I'm literally just going to sit here for like 40 minutes. Caught me by surprise, the train coming in there and getting on 158792. I can't believe I've just done this but I've got on the wrong train. <laughs> I was meant to wait for the TPE train because the northern one doesn't call at Cottingley. Oh my days. I'm now accidentally at Leeds. This is why you check the calling points of a service before you board the train. <laughs> I've actually got quite a wait until my Cottingley train as well now. Oh my days, it's turning into a long day. <laughs> All right, time for take two. I'm on 185116. Could have been worse. I could have had a 10 hour wait. Yes, that has accidentally happened once before. But uh, I just really want to get to Cottingley now. <laughs> I'm finally at Cottingley. It's served by Northern Trains and by TPE, and it's got two platforms. Not only are the platforms long, they're also curved, and best of all, they are bouncy. I think I've possibly saved the best station till last. I do really love it here at Cottingley. At Cottingley, you'll find these red shelters. There's some ticket machines. There's a lot of wind. Sadly, as beautiful as Cottingley Station is, it is a good job that I've managed to fit it in today because it is predicted that this station may not be open for much longer because there is a new station called White Rose which is going to be opening possibly in a couple of months time in 2023 between Morley and Cottingley and chances are because of that Cottingley could well close. I'm not entirely sure where this path is leading, but I'll have a little walk down it. Yeah, it's just like to the streets. Let's uh, go back to that station. 
Oh my days, it has gone so windy, like it was windy to start with, but it's actually quite cold now. Because there were rail strikes on me today, and there's going to be some tomorrow, I kind of thought I'll try and come up with a plan for a route to come down today, which isn't too far away from the Wigan. So um, yeah, it was a good choice choosing this one, and to be fair, all the trains were running. Yes, I may have gotten on the wrong train and uh, self-delayed my own journey, but um, anyway, it's all part of the fun. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Bye. I can't resist but cross the platforms which does involve going underneath this